G'day everyone, it's Monday the 25th of November, Murray Cod season opens in Victoria this coming Sunday, I'm super excited, I've not long knocked off work and I've come out into the shed where it's crazy hot and I've started getting my gear ready for cod opening, I've just finished selecting the lures that I'm going to take at the start of the season and I'm going to run through them with you now. Now over the last few weeks I've had quite a few people ask me if I can make a video just filming what lures I'm going to be taking for cod opening. So that's what I've done now. Now some of these lures I actually have affiliate codes for if you are hoping to buy one yourself. Some I haven't, I've just bought them off the shelf. Some are sponsored, there's just bits of everything in here. I've chosen the lures based on what I think are going to work this season and what I want to use on opening morning. Let's start, and I've got quite a few here so I'll try not to be too slow. Depths buzz jet. You saw me catch a lot of cod on these Depths Buzz Jets last year, last season. So naturally, I've put a couple of them in because I love the Depths Buzz Jet. They're a great surface lure, particularly in smaller waterways. And they're great fun to use and the Murray Cod just climb all over them. Look at that. Ta da Pink and white Wilson Slickback with compliments of Italian Troutaholic on YouTube. He sent me this to my mail time last year. I've had it sitting in the shelf. I don't want to use it because I know you can't get them anymore, but I absolutely love the lure. I've got a couple of them here. I actually had two of them sent to me. So I've decided stuff it. It's not going to catch a fish on the shelf. If I lose it, I lose it, but I'm going to use it this season because I love the Wilson Slickback. I'm taking that. Number one stump jumper. This is actually the fishing monthly limited edition one that came out with a magazine subscription 12 months ago. I love the bright green colour. The actual, if you look at my tackle box, there's a lot of green. Number one stump jumper, it's got a rattle in it. If you're a Murray Cod fisherman and you don't have a number one stump jumper in your kit, then who are you anyway? Really, they're the best, uh, best and most proven Murray Cod lure on the market. I've got this little, that's a, Depths Buzz Jet Junior. It's only a really small surface lure, about not even three inches long. It's the smaller version of the Buzz Jet that I had a lot of luck with last year. It's a similar size to a cicada on the water. Not really big, probably not great for huge waterways, but it'll be a lot of fun in the smaller waterways. This came as one of the lures in the Tackle Club last year, back in the summer, and I think it'll be really, really good on cod in this area. So I'm keen to give it a go this season. Now, I've got a lot of lures here naturally. I'm not gonna use them all on cod opening, but I've got them all in, and I'll use what I feel like on the day. Now I've got a, another Depths Buzz Jet. This is Jet Black. Midnight. Awesome. Now it's very hot out here and I've just knocked off work. So if you see me reach over here and grab a, a cold can, please don't mind me. And thanks to, big shout out, to Fishing with Steve. Thanks to Fishing with Steve for the stubby holder. That came to my mail time section as well. You guys look after me so well with my mail time. My Tandoor oven that you see in a lot of my videos come from my mail time. This one here, I'm not sure what the model is. It's a, it's a rubber soft plastic. It's a Wilson, it's a Xerox soft plastic of some kind. And it's got two sort of single hooks or sidewash hooks or something on the bottom that hangs down like that. But as it's passing through the water, the hooks come up and the tail swims. This was given to me by a friend of mine that works at Fishing Monthly Magazine. So I'm really keen to give that a swim. I believe Jungie's already caught cod on that before he gave it to me. So I'm, uh, I'm keen to give that a swim and see how that goes as well. Codger jointed surface lures. I've done a review on these once before. In my opinion, one of the best value for money surface lures on the market. I just think they're fantastic and I'm gonna be using them again this season. Coolabung Cod Cracker. I love this thing. I reckon it's an absolute ripper. I've caught some of my biggest cod that I've caught on surface lures have come on this, this lure. Being a bigger lure, it can entice bigger fish. It's been around a bit now. I've had it for a few years. There's a fair bit of paint coming off it, but I still think it's a damn good lure. Well worthy of a cast. Another number one stump jumper. This time it's a red and yellow colour. I love number one stump jumpers. I just think they're great. Here we go. I have two of these here. I've got to shake the hell out of them just to get them out of the tackle box because they're all tangled. Is this going to take long? Almost there. Almost. Here we go. Old mate lures. I love old mate lures. These are a sponsored item and I've got a discount code. If you want to uh, buy these, I'll put a link in the description below where you'll get 10% off. The discount code is...
and you can use that at the trellis website but i'll put all the all the uh, details underneath the old mate lures are the, the most amazing murray cod lures to cast they cast very accurately due to their tapered design at the tail they they swim very well and the fish love them and this green one is my favorite colored uh, old mate lure so the old mate lures definitely have a couple of them in my tackle box on opening morning we've got a bassman four by four purple and pink I love the Bassman spinnerbaits and the 4x4 is, uh, is the king. I also got a couple of Bassman DTs in here. I love this bright green colour. I've said that a couple of times. Bassman DT, gold Colorado blades, the bright green, bright green colour. Can't go wrong. Another Bassman DT. DT is double trouble because it's got two, uh, it's got two Colorado blades. That's a purple and pink. I've got that in there as well. Another Depths Buzzjet. This is the one I've caught. The green one was the one I caught the most fish on, but I think I lost that. So this one's a, uh, a more of a natural sort of coloured one. Bug or something just landed in my ear while I was talking. Distractions happen, folks, out in the field, even though I'm not in the field. Right, I've got another, another Bassman 4x4 in fluorescent green. With four Colorado blades, too big, too small. It's time for a mouthful of sauce. Straight back into it, two little Coolabung cod walkers. I've got the purple, the purple cod walker, and the, this sort of brown colored one is my favorite. This tiny little Coolabung cod walker, the smallest one, in my honest opinion, has the best hookup rate of any surface lure that I've used. The hookup rate from the smaller lure is better than the hookup rate from the bigger Coolabung. So they still get the, they still catch fish and they still get buffs, but these smaller ones just seem to have a better hookup rate with the smaller fish. The bigger ones will get the buff from the smaller fish, but the hookup's not as great. But I've got a couple of cooler one cod walkers in there, tried and proven. Mr. Orange, this is uh, an orange predator made by Predator Lures here in Wangaratta. You saw me catch cod on these in one of my videos last season, back in late summer, early autumn. Uh, it's a great lure. I like the, I caught my very first uh, cod that I ever caught on a cast and retrieve lure on that colour, but in, in black and green. I actually might even have that here and I can show you. There we go, folks. I caught my first ever cod on a cast and retrieve lure. I caught heaps on bait. I trawled lots over the years, but it wasn't until I started casting I caught my first cod on this very lure. That's an original timber predator. The hooks are all decayed and broken. And that was probably around about 1994, 1995, early to mid 90s. I've also got a Bassman Yellowman series. This is the smaller size Bassman. I think it might be three eighths. Because a lot of the water I fish is quite small, I just think a smaller spinner might come in handy for those days where the cod are a bit not committing to the strike. Those days when you're getting a lot of strikes and not hooking up, sometimes it's good to downsize. So I've got a smaller spinner bait in there just for that occasion. This is the big one this year. I reckon this year is going to be the year of the frog. This is the Damiki 4-inch air frog. You might remember towards the end of last season, in fact it was right near the end of the last season because it's still on my rod, I had some success with this lure. The Damiki, the 4-inch Damiki air frog. I made a couple of little sort of really short clips and put them on Facebook and Instagram of that just hopping over the snags. I then went out, I uh, hooked the fish, I got that excited that I fell flat on my face, I stood up, covered in blood, and I still managed to land the fish, and it was an absolute riot. I just think that using soft plastics for Murray Cod is fantastic, and the Damiki Air Frog, they're different to other surface lures. With a lot of surface lures, you can feel your rod tip going, tip, plop, 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 because the lure's swimming. So each time the lure goes plop, 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 across the surface, the rod moves. With a soft plastic like an air frog, you feel nothing. You cast it out and you reel it in slowly. You can hop it around a little bit and work it. You can fish it in the thickest of snags because it's rigged snagless or weedless or snag proof. So I can just hop through everything. So you can cast it into the thickest areas without it getting snagged. And when the cod hit it, you go from feeling nothing to feeling everything. And it's just crazy exciting. I love it. So I've gone out and got some, uh, some Damiki air frogs. And I am gonna tell you these are a sponsored line, just like the old mate lure. These are sponsored and I've got a discount link for you as well, which I'll put in the description below. If you go to the Master Angler website and you order these and use the discount or anything from that website in particular, but I'm just talking about these today, the discount code once again is Robbie10 and you'll get 10% off when you buy these. Same as the hooks, which you can also get from the Master Angler website. I'm gonna put the um I'm gonna put the 
All the details for these hooks and where you can buy these and the discount codes, I'll put everything in the description below this video, so, so make sure you look down at the description. But folks, this year's the year of the frog. I've got so many lures to use. Now, this is only opening morning. This is the start of the season. There's, I'm gonna be going out a lot more into different waterways throughout the year, so if you know I've got a lure and you haven't seen them here, don't worry about it too much because I love all kinds of fishing. I've got a bit of an idea where I'm going on opening morning subject to the weather, and these sort of smaller size lures might be better. Now, something I was gonna put in is this huge, big Havoc lure. This was sent to me by Havoc Lures last year. It's got one of the best actions I've seen on the surface. I didn't catch a cob with it last year. It is a very big lure and it's designed for very big fish. But if I find myself heading downstream where the water's bigger and deeper and I know there's more bigger fish, I will be putting this bigger lure on and giving that a swim. And same goes with this Predator swim bait. This Predator swim bait is awesome in the water. In fact, I think it was this lure I made a video and called it Massive Murray Cod Buff. And uh, a cod about that long came and buffed this lure that was about the same size. And all these people gave me thumbs down. <laughs> it was very clickbaity. But it was just done for a laugh. At the end I wrote, sorry, not sorry. I just think that some people need to get a sense of humour. But anyway, folks, they're the lures that I'm taking this opening day. I can't wait. It's only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Six more sleeps and I'm excited. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, why not hit the subscribe button and give me a big fat thumbs up. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video.